There's no point putting it all over your body unless you're getting laid. I feel like people should not smell bad. I think it's like so insulting. I'm not here for that anymore. I think everyone would benefit from being in therapy. However, you need a dedicated skincare fridge. We're gonna discuss Black Friday. Black Friday is a day where I begin to panic. I don't know about you guys, but the lead up to Black Friday and Black Friday as well as Cyber Monday are days where I'm in a stage of panic because I don't know what to buy. I feel like I need to buy something. And there's just so much out there. There's so many different offers. And I'm like, do I need this? Do I not need this? Oh, if I don't get it now, I'll never get it ever again at this price. And it's something I really need to have right now or it's something I might need in the future. I just end up buying a bunch of crap that I don't need. I'm not here for that anymore. My purchasing sense has kind of changed in the sense where I no longer really buy things I don't necessarily need. Like when it comes to like luxury fashion, like I'm building on a core wardrobe now. I've realized I've just been buying a bunch of junk. I don't think I'm really going to be buying any clothes this Black Friday or like shoes or accessories. I will put away some items into my wish list, and if they go on sale then maybe I'll buy them, but they're not necessities because I feel like I have a fairly good wardrobe, a core wardrobe. When Black Friday rolls around, I think it's important to invest in things which ideally help you be a better version of you. And I don't mean a therapist because I don't think therapists do Black Friday discounts, Cyber Monday discounts. I mean, it would be great. I think everyone would benefit from being in therapy. However, there are little things you can do at home to improve your quality of life and overall general well-being. I've noticed that investing in myself has made me a lot more positive, a lot happier and feeling a lot healthier, which is why today I'm going to talk to you about necessary things you need to start investing in on Black Friday because like you can start with the basics for now or if you have the basics then you can start to upgrade your basics to slightly more advanced tools and accessories when Black Friday rolls around and hopefully these items go on sale. First and foremost is a product which I've talked to you guys about frequently over the past few months and is a product which I strongly believe in, absolutely love and would always highly recommend. That is the You Like IPL device. I personally love this IPL device because it helps my skin. I am going to be traveling with this. I'm taking this with me because I know I'm going to be wearing makeup a lot as I'm going to be traveling for a wedding. Almost every day I'll have to put makeup on and I know my skin is not going to be able to handle it. So I'm going to be traveling with all my skincare tools because it is 1000% necessary. This is the You Like Sapphire Cooling IPL device and it is phenomenal. I've spoken about it previously. It is mainly targeted towards hair removal. So if you're someone that can't afford to go to a salon or you just prefer doing IPL hair removal at home, definitely check this out. They have an amazing deal on for Black Friday. Personally, I think these make great gifts. Also on the topic of gifts, if you're a frugal bitch, buy them on Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Buy them for your friends for Christmas, Hanukkah, or whatever other holidays approaching or whatever other birthdays approaching because I'm not waiting till Boxing Day to buy a Christmas present. I don't know if there's any other sales coming up prior to that, but yeah, Black Friday is like Monday, perfect time to buy gifts. And the You Like device is something you can buy your hairy girlfriends, hairy boyfriends, hairy aunts as a great gift or buy it for yourself if you don't want to be hairy. Even if you don't have hair and you want a device which is actually gonna improve the quality of your skin, if you suffer from active acne or just acne, enlarged pores, redness, rosacea, thread veins, this is a magical device. It's a, it's a treatment I get done professionally and it's a treatment I maintain at home when I can or when I'm traveling because it's important to do so. And my skin is very sensitive so I need to have devices which actually help maintain the quality of my skin because if I don't, she's gonna erupt and it's not gonna be pretty. The reason why I recommend this device over other IPL devices is because of, first of all, the air, aerodynamic ergonomic shape. Is that it? I feel like there's a word in my head I want to say, but it's just not getting there. It's very easy to hold, I have small hands, and it's very light. It comes in an amazing travel case, which comes complete actually, with a mini razor as well as sunglasses, so you don't actually need to buy the items separately to use this device. Personally, this travel case is a lifesaver. Everything fits into it, including the device and the charger, everything. And I can travel with it very easily, as well as the fact that it has the most important cooling applicator. This ensures that your skin is constantly cool when you're using the device and make sure that you do not get burnt. The device also has five different heat settings. I personally love the highest heat setting. My skin is used to it, but you can build it up gradually if you're new to using IPL devices. And honestly, 
pain-free, zero downtime and works phenomenally. The company also have done multiple researches to verify that this product actually works through four week trials with various different people and they all agreed to having up to 80 to 90% less hair than when they started. Ideally, you need to use a device three to four times a week when you begin, if you haven't ever done anything before, if you're doing it for hair removal. If you're doing it for acne, I personally like to do this at least once a week, maybe twice a week. Very important to invest in these tools, especially when they're on sale, because again, they're tools that I use and they're tools which I feel will benefit you guys especially if you have problematic skin like me. Another one of my favorite tools is a high frequency device. I absolutely love these. These are great for wrinkles as well as targeting active acne and just acne as well as open pores. I am obsessed. I have like a full skincare routine, which you guys probably have seen me do quite often recently because I'm definitely trying to be more active at home when it comes to preserving the quality of my skin. And I honestly, I just love me time. I'll be honest, I just love doing things which make me feel good. Zapping my skin with electricity just feels fantastic. It makes me feel better after. But these can sometimes be pricey. This is a brand I've been using for a few years. I previously bought some from Amazon. I think it was during lockdown. I bought some from Amazon. And the electrodes, like some of them didn't work, but this um, has been pretty beneficial for me. I absolutely love it and I recommend it to everyone. I do this almost every night if I've been wearing makeup often because I know that I'm prone to breaking out so this is important to do and also again another treatment we use in the clinic and it's pretty much a medical grade product so again if you can't afford to go to a clinic or salon to get these treatments done then invest in doing it at home. Even if you do get them professionally done, and if you don't wanna continuously go to a clinic to get these treatments done, do the maintenance at home. Another device I love and would highly recommend, an LED light mask. This is a very, very affordable and basic mask, which I would recommend if you're starting out to use LED lights, but I'm not gonna lie, I have been waiting for Cyber Monday, Black Friday to come around so I can splurge the money on one which costs like a thousand pounds because it's a medical grade device. These are not medical grade. They're very light in terms of intensity and I know, oh, I didn't know it worked without the thing. I know I could definitely get a better one with a brighter light, higher intensity. Black Friday comes around. When it comes to skincare devices, a majority of the time, the higher they are priced, the better the quality is. This, as you guys can see, it's very flimsy. It's a very average device. My dog has even chewed it, but it's something I just have and can keep with me whenever I need it. Another device, which is not really skincare, but is wellness based, is this infrared sauna blanket. This has been on my wish list, in my wish list, for the longest time. Ever since I found out about it, I've kept it in my wish list. I was very close to purchasing it until I remembered that Black Friday, Cyber Monday is approaching. This has to be going on sale. Like, it has to be going on sale. And it's actually a treatment similar to what we do in the clinic for muscle recovery and just to rid your body of toxins and negative metals. So I'm very excited to get my hands on this infrared sauna blanket. It is phenomenal for wellness and overall well-being. If you're someone like me that's slowly getting into wellness or you're someone that's already in wellness and biohacking, this is probably a product you definitely want to get on your wish list in your bag because it's fantastic. I was blown away when I did this treatment. You just sweat and you feel fantastic after it. I love doing this after going to the gym, pre-shower, sweat out all that disgusting gunk from your body. It also really helps with lactic acid. You know, after a heavy gym session, when you're feeling tight and your body is like in agony, you need to get one of these blankets and do the sauna because it really helps remove the buildup of lactic acid, which is crazy good. Honestly, wow. I don't yet have it, but it's on my wish list. Again, topic of skincare. Cleansing devices. This is actually one I got gifted from a goodie bag with Cosmopolitan magazine. I've been on the lookout for a cute cleansing device and I love this because it's compact, it's portable and it's tiny and it's very cute. Ooh, it vibrates. Mm, I love this. Wow. The vibrations are really strong on this and it really gets into your cleanses and it works its way around your face really nicely. It feels phenomenal. And it's like giving yourself a facial massage, which I love to do. I love a good facial massage. And again, I'm really big on me time and skincare time and my skincare process and my just overall, well, overall health journey. So investing in like little cutesy 
and care devices. These can be expensive, by the way. These can be very expensive, like the bigger ones. This one's from PMD and it's a mini one. So I don't think they're that expensive. They're probably less than like 50 pounds, I think. I mean, there are some on Amazon you can get for cheaper if you're not really fussed about a branded one. This was one I actually got given. So maybe I will actually invest in the bigger device and the more advanced devices. Again, on the topic of skincare, another device I've recently started using. I know this sounds crazy. I'm like one of those crazy skincare people and like health people, which is slightly unbelievable, but is this quartz roller. This is by Salt by Hendrix. Again, it was a gift from Cosmopolitan in their press package. This is really great. I honestly don't know how to use it. I don't think I'm using it correctly, but I love using it for all the contours on my face, like cheekbones, jawline. I do this without product, but you can use it with product. I also keep this in my mini fridge, which is another thing you guys need to add onto your wish list if you do not have a mini fridge. I recently got a mini fridge and it's my little dedicated skincare fridge. You need a dedicated skincare fridge in your bathroom like it's a hundred percent necessary if you're getting into skincare and even if you're not and you're someone that just likes to have little devices like this or like a jade roller quartz roller gua sha whatever it may be face masks keeping them in the cool little fridge wow it just it just elevates the overall experience you can even keep like a bowl of water in there if you're going to do like an ice dunk cold water bath dunk they're great for hangovers and they're great for like just activating your skin capillaries or whatever the hell it was and it like wakes you up in the morning it's fantastic definitely invest in a mini fridge they can be quite expensive too it doesn't have to be a super expensive one it just needs to be like a little tiny one which can fit like even a water bottle whatnot if you don't have like an upstairs pantry game changing honestly game changing and then again on the topic of beauty masks masks oh my god my mom went to korea and went a bit crazy she just came home with like a suitcase full of like different face masks and honestly, I was never really into face masks because they sometimes irritate my skin until I found out what was irritating my skin. Now, what I really do love is these little eye masks. I don't know for sure if they really do anything. Putting on an eye mask or like a full face mask and just sitting in bed, watching telly, reading a book, scrolling TikTok, doing whatever it is you may be doing or preparing for an event while you're doing your makeup, if you're doing your eye makeup or just, you know, doing your skincare. This just elevates the experience. It just makes you feel like you're, you've got your shit together. I don't know, I don't know what it is. They're completely useless, I'll be honest. Completely useless. You don't really have to buy these, but it just, ugh. I can't explain it. it just elevates the whole like getting ready process and experience and just it just makes me feel happy it makes me feel like i'm doing something even if it's doing nothing i feel like i'm doing something you walk around like you're that girl like walk around your house in your little silk nighty and your little fluffy robe and your fluffy shoes your little bottega slides or your little louis vuitton mink slides and your eye mask and your little hair mask and you know just be that girl invest in yourself invest in the quality of your lifestyle little things like this just elevate the quality of your life and they make you feel like you're that girl even if you're not that girl on the topic of being that girl silk products i cannot stress enough how much i love silk pillowcases silk eye masks this was a gift from again cosmopolitan but they they actually came through with the most phenomenal goodie bag i'm not gonna lie thank you cosmopolitan this silk pillowcase or any silk pillowcase is life-changing. We actually have a custom one at Biolite. You get like a little box with a scrunchie, a pillowcase, and an eye mask. So beautiful. I absolutely love those. But investing in a silk pillowcase or like even a silk bonnet or just silk clothing in general, it just overall changes your life because first of all, you feel like that girl. And there are health benefits, especially with silk pillowcases, because if you're someone that has bad skin or your hair is just really shit like mine, this can help it really can help improve the quality of your hair as well as your skin silk is known to be antimicrobial and antibacterial whatever it is which means that it doesn't really pick up on bacteria and it doesn't cause friction between your skin as well as your hair which overall improves the hair quality sleeping with a silk bonnet on if you've got a fresh blow dry game changing trust me you look like a grandma just imagine just envision this silk bonnet silk eye mask silk pillowcase silk robe silk nighty just be that girl i don't know about you guys but when my skin is glowing i'm at my most confident phase in my life when my skin is not doing great i don't film videos i cancel plans i don't leave my house 
I don't even look in the mirror because it is very triggering for me and this is a trigger warning um, I know for other people they're confident in their skin however it may be but for me no I've suffered with bad skin my whole life literally my entire life and I just didn't know I just did not know what it was facials don't work eventually the skin like just erupts again like I've been trying but recently once I actually did like blood tests i've done skin tests i've just you know adjusted my facial routine adjusted my lifestyle and just overall wellness everything is glowing from the inside out head to toe glowing i don't know if you guys see it but i feel it so that's all that matters on the topic of devices the dyson i'll be honest i thought this was garbage and i know a lot of people are promoting other ones i love my dyson hair dryer it does not work for really curly curly hair i personally have very curly hair and when i haven't had my brazilian blowout it does not work i have to use an actual hair dryer and then smooth it with this round brush because it just doesn't work but once i've actually got a brazilian blowout and i just need to dry my hair i'll just use a round brush and it's fantastic it's a really great tool and you get like a whole box with a different bunch of different hairs personally i don't like the air wrap it doesn't work for me i've got short hair so i end up looking like but I love, love the round brush head because it just adds volume and like lifts your hair from the roots. You just feel great. It's like you've got a fresh blow dry after you use that. I will try and link these products down below, of course. And if I get any other discount codes, I will link them down below. And then another thing I spent actually a lot of money on, which I'm waiting for to go on sale, perfume. A lot of you guys ask me what my favorite scents are. And some of you already know what my favorite scents are. These are my top current three. Three life-changing scents right now of course baccarat rouge the extract not the other one this is the expensive one and this is expensive for a reason because it lasts and it smells like heaven i've tried when i first invested in this brand i was like oh let me just get the cheap one because you know i'm cheap and i don't want to spend money on this bottle which literally oh like even though it like smells amazing they smell the same they do i convinced myself that they smell the same no a couple hours later, the scent is gone. It's just not the vibe. I mean, if you don't want to spend on it, fine. That's a you choice. But for me, if I'm getting this on sale, I'm buying the big bottle and I'm buying the extract. Yeah, this is actually unisex. I actually smelled this on a man before I bought it for myself and he smelled so good. I was like, I need to smell like this. It just smells so good. And you can get the cream. I actually have the cream and I have the hair mist. The hair mist is pretty average, not gonna lie. But the body cream, I put it all over my shoulders and my neck and my back and my arms. And then I spray this on top and that kind of like locks in the scent for a long time. There's no point putting it all over your body unless you're getting laid. Don't bother. And I know a lot of people are wearing this. Actually, I don't actually know that many people that wear this. I think a lot of people are jumping onto another brand, Killian, which I'm not mad about because Killian does some fantastic perfumes. The first scent I ever invested in was Love Don't Be Shy. I have the full size bottle and I also got the travel set so this is what the travel set looks like they're a lot cheaper than the full bottles but i'm the kind of person that will buy the full bottle and the travel set of a scent if i really like it because i will put the perfume on when i leave my house and then i will want to top it up throughout the day if need be especially on a night out it's great if you're like around by like smelly people and you just want to cleanse your environment no shade i just feel like people should not smell bad i think it's like so insulting and also like really unhygienic so just don't be that person. This is really sweet. It's very like vanilla-y. vanilla -y. Just sweet. It's sweet. I get a lot of compliments on this when I'm wearing this. But my new latest scent, which ugh, I'm just, I'm just crazy obsessed with. I actually like mixing this scent with Love Don't Be Shy. This is my new favorite scent. This is Angel Share. And I love it because it comes in like this little bottle, which almost looks like a crystal whiskey glass. And oh my God. The one thing I'm waiting for from Killian for Black Friday, please God let this go on sale on Black Friday, is the carafe because I need the carafe with the diffuser or like the the little the ball thingy which comes on it. Oh, it just looks so stunning. Wow. It smells like vanilla. It smells like honey. It smells like cinnamon. It, it reminds me of like an apple pie or like a cinnamon crunchy apple crumble. I think this is a unisex perfume. If I smelled this on a man, I'd be like. And another scent which I love from Killian is Forbidden Love, Forbidden something. It's like a black bottle. Again, a very, very nice scent. Killian just kills it with these scents. They're just all amazing. Yeah, investing in scents, because they are expensive, definitely do it. One thing I hate spending money on, full price, because I know how cheap they are to make, sunglasses. 
Sunglasses are overpriced. For what reason, please? What reason are sunglasses so expensive? Why? We all know, I mean, if you don't know, a majority of sunglasses are produced in one specific factory. They cost literally 50p to make. I mean, a pair of sunglasses like this, they're literally plastic with a little Bottega logo on the side. They could cost maybe like a pound to make at max. So tell me why I'm spending like 500 pounds on a pair of sunglasses, 400 pounds on a pair of sunglasses even 300 pounds on a pair of sunglasses, which I will eventually break or lose or scratch or ruin, misplace. I just can't do it. I can't justify it. So buying sunglasses on sale, 10 out of 10, would recommend. Unless it's like a pair of like sunglasses which you know is gonna sell out because they're like so in demand and like you just have to have them. So that was my little take. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you found it insightful and helpful. I will definitely be purchasing, repurchasing these items for Black Friday or Cyber Monday and would recommend that you guys do too as well if you are looking to enhance the quality of your life. Spending money on unnecessary things like designer bags, designer shoes, designer clothes, if you don't have the means to do it, it's not necessary. Invest in quality things which ultimately improve the quality of your life. So that's why I'm not gonna be talking to you guys about investing in designer bags or shoes or like accessories for Black Friday. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it insightful. I will leave discount codes and links to everything down below. See you in my next video.